So Martin Fowler, he talks about this idea in his refactoring book, which was published, the original refactoring book from uh, Martin was published in 1999. Uh, this was published in IEEE Software in his column in the early 2000s, published, public versus published interfaces. And it's quite a useful idea. The idea of a published interface to something is um, something that you are making available to people who are effectively outside your immediate control and influence, okay? Um, so a different department, you know, here's the stuff we have in my team and we're able to change that freely. We are all in the same repo, we're all on the same branch and that's great. And then there's another part of the company that operates differently. But we're working with them, but they are not us. And therefore, whenever we make certain changes, we tend to get very irate people coming towards us. Um, so therefore, maybe, maybe we need to not do that. But also, there is this idea of the, so the published interface. The published interface is publish and be damned. You better be supporting it. You better be prepared to support it, but to make a difference. Now, our languages typically don't have these as a construct. It looks exactly the same. If I look at, um, if I go into Java, then a public interface looks like any other public interface. If I'm in C++, this header file looks like any other header file. It, this becomes a social convention is what I'm saying. Here, you're, I'm, you, can, you can rely on this. I can support it. This is, this is ours. This is separate. And we can change it freely. And we may be able to enforce that in various ways. Don't treat interfaces as published unless they are. In other words, allow yourself the ability to change stuff freely and radically, if needs be, within your own group. In other words, find where the boundary is. Hopefully it's not just around you. <laughs> Otherwise, in which case, you have, some, you have some code ownership and management issues uh, already. But the idea is, where is that boundary? The boundary where you need to start having meetings or people start complaining when you do certain things. Where is that boundary? Is it within your organization or is it a boundary to another organization or other organizations? But don't treat everything, and this is quite important because sometimes people say, oh, all code is, is library development and we should treat it all like that. That's kind of a useful metaphor and I kind of went with that for a number of years and then I realized that's actually hampering our development. We're supporting this and we're putting a lot of effort into stuff that's not giving us any value. So honestly, I should just be able to change it because the only people who, the only people who are affected are, you know, are visible to me in this room or on a Zoom screen. And that's it. It's just like, no, we can change this. It's our code. Why are we giving ourselves, why are we preventing ourselves the softness inherent in software? But then I need to recognize the boundary and go, ah, but that boundary, you know, yeah, we've got to respect that. We, we published it and we've realized we want to do something different with it, but we still have to support it. We're going to have to have a, a deprecation policy in place. And there's much more effort involved in that, but find where that line is. So don't publish interfaces inside a team. Publish as little as you can, as late as you can. Do this empirically, discover what stabilizes.